Chapter 12 Joash began to rule over Judah in the seventh year of King Jehu's reign in Israel. He reigned in Jerusalem forty years. His mother was Zibiah from Beersheba. All his life Joash did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, because Jehoiada the priest instructed him. Yet even so, he did not destroy the pagan shrines, and the people still offered sacrifices and burned incense there. One day King Joash said to the priests, Collect all the money brought as a sacred offering to the Lord's temple, whether it is a regular assessment, a payment of vows, or a voluntary gift. Let the priest take some of that money to pay for whatever repairs are needed at the temple. But by the twenty-third year of Joash's reign, the priests still had not repaired the temple. So King Joash called for Jehoiada and the other priests and asked them, Why haven't you repaired the temple? Don't use any more gifts for your own needs. From now on, it must be all spent on getting the temple into good condition. So the priests agreed not to collect any more money from the people, and they also agreed not to undertake the repairs of the temple themselves. Then Jehoiada the priest bored a hole in the lid of a large chest and set it on the right-hand side of the altar at the entrance of the temple of the Lord. The priests guarding the entrance put all of the people's contributions into the chest. Whenever the chest became full, the court secretary and the high priest counted the money that had been brought to the Lord's temple and put it into bags. Then they gave the money to the construction supervisors who used it to pay the people working on the Lord's temple, the carpenters, the builders, the masons, and the stonecutters. They also used the money to buy timber and cut stone for repairing the Lord's temple, and they paid any other expenses related to the temple's restoration. The money brought to the temple was not used for making silver cups, lamp snuffers, basins, trumpets, or other articles of gold or silver for the temple of the Lord. It was paid out to the workmen who used it for the temple repairs. No accounting was required from the construction supervisors because they were honest and faithful workers. However, the money that was contributed for guilt offerings and sin offerings was not brought into the Lord's temple. It was given to the priests for their own use. About this time, King Haziel of Aram went to war against Gath and captured it. Then he turned to attack Jerusalem. King Joash collected all the sacred objects that Jehoshaphat, Jehoram, and Ahaziah, the previous kings of Judah, had dedicated, along with what he himself had dedicated. He sent them all to Hazael, along with all the gold and the treasuries of the Lord's temple and the royal palace. So Hazael called off his attack on Jerusalem. The rest of the events in Joash's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. But his officers plotted against him and assassinated him at Beth Milo on the road to Selah. The assassins were Josabad, son of Shimeath, and Jehozabad, son of Shomer, both trusted advisers. Joash was buried with his ancestors in the city of David. Then his son Amaziah became the next king.